Here it is guys, Phoenix 7, three years later, the much anticipated multi-sport watch of the year just got released and is packed with features. So let's go through some of the most important features of this watch. This watch comes in a few different varieties, for example in terms of the size of the watch, it has a 42mm, 47mm and 51mm option. The 42mm is called Phoenix 7S, the 47mm is called Phoenix 7 and the 51mm is called Phoenix 7X. In addition to the size of the watch, you can find all these in Standard, Solar and Sapphire Solar. Right off the bat, I want to share with you some disappointing news and that is the fact that the Phoenix 7 model, the Standard model, only has one color. And that's really not cool. I mean, why is it that the Standard model on the 42mm comes in two colors, but the 47mm Standard model has only one color, which is probably going to be their most popular watch. I guess. Anyways, there are still lots of different options there, so it's very hard to list them here for me. It's best for you to check them out yourself. So let's start with the storage capacity. The base model or the standard model comes with a 16 gigabyte storage and the Sapphire model has a 32 gigabytes of storage. So that is again another decision by Garmin, which I don't understand the rationale behind it, but I believe that's something to do with the pricing of this so they try to maybe lower the pricing of the base model or the standard model that's probably got something to do with that i'm also not going to talk about the battery life because that kind of varies a lot between different models and also it depends on what kind of features you use do you use the gps or do you use the smartwatch only things like that but one thing is for sure and that is the battery life has improved thank you for that so you know the connect iq app that you used to use on your phone to Maybe customize your phone, create a watch face, or download different kinds of apps onto your watch. Now, that is available directly on your Phoenix 7. So that's very cool. So that means you don't need to go to your phone to manage those apps and widgets. You can just handle everything on your watch directly. Now here's a cool feature that you see in video games, and that is the real-time stamina. And that's to avoid overexertion during runs and cycling. And that's really cool. So you can actually see directly on your watch how the way you run or bike affects your stamina. And then try to keep it as high as you can, especially in the beginning of the workout. You don't want to overexert yourself right in the beginning. So that is a very cool feature. The recovery time advisor is another very fantastic feature of this watch. So basically this feature allows you to know exactly or almost exactly when you're going to be ready to do your next training, know your next workout. And it's based on your stress levels, and your uh, activity during the day and also how you slept during the night. So all these affect the recovery. Visual pace predictor is another feature that Garmin has added to this watch and it's basically a way for the watch to estimate what kind of pace you need to have to get to the distance th that you want. And that is based on your uh, fitness level and your running history and things like that. Obviously there are still a ton of other features that come with this watch, some of them found perhaps in some other models as well, like Venue 2 Plus, some not found only in the Phoenix series, but perhaps the coolest one is an integrated LED flashlight. When was the last time that you saw a multi-sport watch with a flashlight on it? The Phoenix 6 watches do not come with an AMOLED display, instead they come with a transflective display, but if you're looking for a watch with an AMOLED display which is on par with the Phoenix series, then you're gonna have to look into the Epix 2 watch which also just got released. And you can think of that as a Phoenix watch with an AMOLED display. Hey, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to do an unboxing of the Phoenix 7 watch pretty soon.